Over half of the world carries ancestry from this part of the world and probably doesn't even know it. This region is called the Steppe. It's a vast grassland stretching from Romania to northeast China, with the center being in modern-day Kazakhstan and southern Russia. This was even discussed in a National Geographic special, Journey of Man, where they stated that Africans that migrated out of Africa went north to Kazakhstan. And then after thousands of years, people from the area of Kazakhstan began spreading all over Asia. Due to these grassland plains being not well adapted to either agriculture or fishing, it forced the people there to adopt a pastoral, nomadic lifestyle, heavily reliant on horses, who were first domesticated in the steppe. This made the people highly mobile, warlike and competitive for the good grasslands and heavy consumption of milk and meat made the steppe people larger and more disease-resistant than other agricultural settled societies near them. The western steppe around the area of Ukraine gave rise to Yamnaya, a fierce nomadic people who made their way to Europe and changed it forever by making virtually the entire continent speak their language and identify with them. They quickly became dominant over the existing Anatolian farmers in Europe. Modern Europeans carry anywhere between 20 and 60 percent of this ancestry, with it increasing the more north you go in Europe. The central steppe around Kazakhstan then birthed Sintashta, who were nomads from Europe, who were a mixture of Yamnaya and local farmers, and migrated back to the steppe. These people also transformed Asia as they took over Central, South, and West Asia and gave their ancestry to Iranic, Turkic, and Indian people, while also leaving their language to Iranic and Indic people. Now, the Eastern Steppe is a little different as they are a Northeast Asian population, rather than a Caucasoid one, and they adopted pastoral nomadism later than Yamnaya and Sintashta. But their migrations are just as epic. Populations from Eastern Steppe are known in ancient times to be a source of ancestry for Siberians and by extension to Native Americans as well, and then later on are direct ancestors of Tungusic and Mongolic people, with Mongols then having the largest land empire in history and Tungusic Manchus controlling China in two different dynasties. Eastern Steppe and Central Steppe nomads also came together and combined to give ancestry to Proto-Turkic people, who then themselves expanded and conquered far and wide, leaving their ancestry in Turkic language as far west as Anatolia. Another instance of people from the steppe overrunning Anatolian farmers. Well, in this case, their descendants. Finally, Europeans who have substantial Western steppe ancestry, as we mentioned early, further spread that ancestry and genes to far wide reaches of the world during the age of colonization, when they colonized the Americas, Africa, and places in East Asia as well, with Latinos in a way being a product of two different waves of steppe migrations, with first being from Eastern steppe, related to their native ancestry, and then to Western Steppe, which is related to their European ancestry. If you'd like to learn from what ancestral populations you descend, click the link in the bio and purchase the report suitable for you.